hi youtube family how are you all doing how are you all doing hope you all are doing good yes this is victorious marble here we talk about my faith in god lifestyle finances all that pertains to life and godliness just helping us all be victorious and just live our best life like yeah so i'm gonna be showing you guys today what i do when i want to go out on grocery like how we can save money on grocery from your kitchen some of the daily tips that you can incorporate into your routine that will really help you save money when you go out for grocery we're doing this food budget according to un food um statistics on food wastage 17 percent of food produced worldwide is wasted and that amounts to 17 billion worth of food yes and this comes from household food wastage from you and i so you see where our money goes to 17 billion a year on food wastage ah we are not going to contribute any longer to the statistics that's why we are doing this okay yep so let's go grocery shopping on a budget yes so let's go ahead let's just get started so the first thing i got a book and a pen to do a grocery list so the first thing i'm gonna be doing because i do bulk cooking on the weekends so i've come out with um a menu that i want to cook next week so i have three menus and my grocery list is going to be rotating around my menu for example i want to make okra so i'm going to write down what i need for my okra soup i'm going to check to see if I have all I need to my okra soup. If I don't have that, I'm gonna write the things I don't have on my grocery list. I want the jollof rice. I'm gonna check what are the things I need for my jollof rice. If the ones I don't have, so the things I'm gonna put on my grocery list. So by so doing, you plan your groceries in accordance with your menu. We all have been in this situation where you go into a grocery shop, you pick 10 items and you want to cook, let's say, okra soup. But you find yourself picking okra, you pick mayonnaise, you pick things that don't pertain to the soup. And when you get home, you want to start cooking the okra, you're like, oh, I forgot maggi. Oh, I didn't get crayfish. Oh, I didn't get that. But you bought mayonnaise. What does mayonnaise have to do with okra soup? And you find yourself going back to the grocery to buy maybe that crayfish or the maggi you actually needed for your okra soup so let's be guarded and that's what i'm doing that's why i'm doing this so i'm gonna go ahead and stop rambling let's go so i just finished checking my fridge and my pantry and my drawers to see what I have and what I don't have so that I'm not double buying. So the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and pick up this. Do you guys know what it is? A grocery bag. We all have seen that in this day and age, every grocery store charge for the plastic bag they give at the grocery store. And sometimes we need like five, we need like ten, and that's money. Like our parents used to go to the market with Ghana must go bags. They were not stupid. It was another form of saving money on buying plastic bags or buying a market bag when you have a lot in your house. I remember when I was young, my mother used to make us wash Ghana must go bags and dry them. And I used to get so angry. I'm like, oh, this bag is old. This bag is so dirty. Why can't we throw it? These are some of the habits that our parents cultivated that saved them little coins that went a long way. Remember, it is drop of water that forms an ocean. So let's keep going. So another tip I want to give before you go for grocery, make sure you had your breakfast, you had your lunch, you had your supper or some snacks in between. Just make sure that at least there's something in your stomach. Don't go to the grocery store hungry because if you go to a grocery store hungry, the first thing that's your instinct, that's your mind want to run to is, oh, let me pick this bread. Oh, let me pick this cake. Oh, let me pick that so that I can munch on. And you find yourself picking and buying things that are not on your list because you are being pushed by the emotion by the hunger in your stomach so after writing my grocery list i'm gonna show you guys what i go ahead to do so i go ahead to allocate a um, budget to every item on my grocery list so this is my grocery list i go ahead to allocate um money to every grocery list and how do i come out around this money or how do i come up with this money remember i did 
um, if you haven't watched my video on budgeting, I did budgeting and there's a certain amount I allocated for my grocery. So I'm sticking with that budget. I'm looking at what I have. So for the month of February, I haven't gone grocery. So I still have, I still have my $300 for my grocery. So that's what I'm locating amount so as to stick to my budget because if you don't allocate amount sometimes we overbuy just like our parents back in the day when they sell you to the market they always write the amounts buy meat for one thousand it doesn't matter how small the meat is buy meat for one thousand that's what they're gonna walk around with yes so i'm allocating amount so that i stick with my budget i am not overboarding my budget because if you watch my budget video there was no extra money left anywhere i did a zero um is zero balance budget which means there is no money left anywhere i have to work within the budget i have for grocery so in this month of february since today's the 17 which means i'll probably go for grocery twice this month so i'm gonna share my 300 dollars budget into two 150 for today and 150 for later on before the month goes to an end so this grocery has to be within the 150 budget so that's why i try to allocate amount here so that i stick to the budget if it is less yay if it is more then we look for what to cut back or what we can buy in a smaller size or smaller pack does that even make sense yeah so now i'm gonna take you guys to the shop and actually show you guys how i shop within my budget so come along and let's go so another tip i want to share for those who are in a society like back home in africa where they use cash what some people do even here in North america they withdraw their grocery amount and they put in an envelope and they go to the grocery just with cash. By so doing, you are very specific and you have the specific amount of money that you want to use. There is no going overboard because you that's like if you have 2,000 naira or 5,000 CFA or $100 Canadian dollar make sure that you stick within that budget because that's all you brought with you to the grocery store there's no extra anyway so the cash method can also be helpful if you think that with your card with your card you're, you easily fall prey of buying a lot you can use the cash method so just with your cash amount you want to use or the amount that is on your grocery list that you have budgeted for that grocery shopping and hold the amount cash so that you stick with that amount because you know mentally that there is no other amount anywhere you came with just five thousand naira or you came with just ten thousand um cfa or just one hundred dollar and that's going to help you stick with your budget so that's another tip that can also help you stick with your budget doing grocery shopping i hope this video helps somebody out there in your financial journey and in your savings journey yes we can save money from the, our everyday activities and just being conscious here and there goes a long way to growing your finances if you are waiting up to this point if you haven't subscribed please subscribe love you all with the love of god 